ask you is when you're doing very long runs, how do you prepare a week before and what's a day before plan? And on the run day, what would you eat? How would you do? So I want one week before, what do you do? A day before, what do you do? And on the run day, what do you do? Uh, one week before is basically uh, no running at all. Is more of rest because uh, I do ultra marathons like I do 100 kilometers, 160 kilometers. Right now I am training for uh, 338 kilometers. At one go? Yeah. Okay. So, so you finish the comrades as well? No, no, I have not done comrades. Okay. Uh, I am better off running here. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so in see, one week okay. before the run is basically rest because you are tapering. Right. But uh, the preparation for any run could stretch to three months, four months, six months, depending so what you terrain. Six months yes. prior. And uh, in the last week, what could be your nutrition like? So rest is one it's, part. Yeah. And but are you training a bit? Are you doing some runs or little bit running or something? It'll be very light running. Or uh, are you gymming as well? No, I don't. I don't go to the gym. But yeah, I do do strength, strength training, training, free okay. weight exercises right. sometimes with the group, but more more so alone on your because own. Uh, with the group, your you, the exercise is generalized. Correct. It's for everybody. Everyone yeah. But when I'm doing it alone, it's like, you know, my, my body specific, whatever muscle part I want to uh, work upon. And uh, during that last week, basically, is more of rest, a little 5K jog or something that sort. Uh, food wise, it's more of carb loading yeah. because you want to so sustain. So, carb loading, anything specific, you would eat uh, anything what suits you I'm, the best. I'm very fond of Rajma rice. So okay. That's a very that's good, a that's an staple, amazing yeah. co combination. So, yeah, so that's a staple diet. I but try have you tried to, khichdi with vegetables? Uh, try I am not that sort of a person. <laughs> yeah, you don't like so, khichdi, okay. Yeah, so I would I rather have a, a whole meal as in I would have rajma rice or sometimes I would have pasta. Okay, uh, so the white pasta or the whole meal? White, white, white pasta, because you also, don't okay. want your stomach to get upset. Right. So that is one thing. Then. Uh, more of potatoes, sweet potatoes, right. uh, more of hydration with the energy drink also, but then uh, uh, with fruit juice. Uh, so that's the whole week you've also been drinking fruit juice uh, to get ready for the run? Yes. And then how your sugars work on that? Uh, they are okay or do they spike? They spike at times, but then... Uh, but my but question then, why was because see in the last week you are doing less activity resting. So when you put in your body sugar related products like right from what you said energy drinks, mm -hmm. fruit juices, potato, sweet potato it's okay. I think if it's just boiled uh, body will manage yes. it. But when you put all these sugary drinks and you're not training so much then how do you manage it? See, basically, it's not that. That is why that smile came. It's when you mentioned about the drinks part. See, it's not that it's going to be uh, like I am having, say, one liter or two liter of uh, uh, the juice or anything. Probably lime water. Okay. Uh, a watermelon juice. Okay. Like instead of tea, have watermelon juice. Right. Uh, you want to bring the acidity levels down. So then you have uh, fruits. Fruits, yeah, I'm not so fond of fruits, but okay. then, okay, watermelon juice. Uh, so, you try to cover it up with juices. Juices and uh, Enerzal or okay. whatever whatever energy drink is there. So, but uh, is Enerzal it's in limited sweet content. or it's okay? It's, it is sweet. Uh, it spikes your sugar levels, but I don't Quantity have, you yeah, I have probably a glass or so in the morning, glass or so in the evening. And that you do it for a week till your run? I do it for a week because... Uh, these runs are long, like 30, Correct. 36 hours, 48 hours, long. 72 yeah. hours. So, uh, pre-run hydration is very, very important. important. It also depends, like the last run which I did was in poke run. So, the temperature uh, range was hot? 45, 48. You are running in the desert. Oh. Uh, you have to carry your own water. You For the whole period? Uh, no, there are 8 stations 10 okay. to 12 kilometers apart. You need to carry your own water. You they they are not they are basically refilling stations. Okay. So you can refill after 10-12 hours. Uh, sorry, 10-12 kilometers. kilometers. And uh, that is why pre-run hydration is important. It's very important. 
uh, sleep is important because you need to stay awake for 161 we, it took us almost around 27 28 hours okay. so you need to stay awake for that amount of period right. so getting sleep before the event is important sometimes uh, you prepare you think you have a plan how to prepare but then there are times when things don't go your way before the pokhran like when the run started i just didn't want to run right so but eventually once it starts then you know so you're just uh, getting into the mood of going it then you don't but want to stop but then anyways you are not going to be like sprinting or something you're just going to take your time to mean, make that yeah pace. but it's it's uh, no there are cutoffs you're not oh, you basically cutoff, yeah right? you're not basically sprinting for 72 hours or yeah. 30 hours of that sort but uh, there are cutoffs you need to Finish do a 161 in 32 hours okay and with 48 degrees uh, even uh, if you're running at a pace of 6.5 7.5 it is terrible it's terrible yeah, and, but yet uh, you managed to do it and it's really great yeah. uh, that's uh, good and what about the day before the run a uh, day before the uh, run is, is there more anxiety of, or you no, know no now there is no anxiety as such because but because you uh, ran a lot that's why ran a lot also but then again see uh, it's a run you you can prepare you don't know what's going to go wrong the next day Correct. so it's better to have a clear mind rather than worry about the run right and uh, you always basically i always have a plan a plan b plan c okay. and if if nothing if nothing works then just run just run because that is the best plan uh, if you want to run 21 or if you want to do a 220 the bottom line is you have to run you have to run so okay. for But, me uh, i enjoy what it, kind so. of food uh, so what kind of carb loading would you do on the last day i mean run is tomorrow and i mean uh, what would you do i it's try rajma to rice or rajma rice but when you're going for events then they don't uh, they don't give you, give you what you want so whatever you get yeah so it's basically dal rice very good uh, it's a good combo a little bit of curd okay fruits uh, fruits i am not fond of but salad yes salad. a lot of salad uh, Uh, so i try to avoid non veg right? no i eat i eat like 7 okay. days a week i can eat non veg right. breakfast lunch dinner i can eat okay. non veg but uh, before the runs you are not i try to avoid probably it also causes a lot of acidity so maybe acidity, is that acidity heartburn, heartburn then uh, so you like to be vegetarian during, that's what suits you so i think every body type is different so no though i i do have eggs during the runs if i am running uh, like i run on my own also for 12 hours and 15 hours okay Uh, not in an event but just just yes. for the sake like just for doing a long run i okay. run at that point it's a self supported run so we carry uh, chicken sandwiches and okay. that sort of thing